Hey guys, welcome back to the Bonville Cocktail Collection. Where have you been? Now, I'm sorry, 2017 was a busy year for us and we didn't get many videos out. But we're back now and we're gonna be way more consistent with content for 2018. Now, if you remember in our last video, we promised when we hit 25,000 subscribers, we would do a new subscriber video. And since then, we've actually hit 35,000 subs and we've been totally blown away with the response. The quality and quantity of the cocktails you guys have sent in has been absolutely outstanding. Thank you so much. Without your comments and your engagement, we just wouldn't bother doing this. And it's taken us days to get through all of them to whittle it down to five that we think are good enough to put in this video. In fact, the quality was so great, we could have done 20. So without any further ado, here is Subscriber Cocktails, Volume 2. As I said, it was really difficult whittling it down to five drinks to make this video. So to help me choose, I gave myself a few ground rules, and that was that the drink must be simple, anyone can make it at home, and then you can buy the ingredients from any local supermarket or liquor store. So to kick us off, we've got a nice, simple combination of ingredients from Gecko 2305, and this one is called The Melting Snow. It's a shaken drink. We'll start with 20 millilitres of freshly squeezed lemon juice. 20 ml of elderflower liqueur. We're gonna use Saint-Germain. Literally going for all of these drinks, exactly what's on the spec sheet. Bar spoon of Violette. A bar spoon should be around five ml. And a bar spoon of simple syrup. Gecko 2305 says here that you can leave it out or add more, depending on how sweet you like it. So we'll just go with his original spec. And 50 ml of gin. It doesn't specify what gin. So we're just gonna go with our house gin, which is Portobello Road, which is a London dry gin. And an egg white. So, dry shake that. Shake over ice. It says serve up, it doesn't specify what glass, so I'm just gonna assume he means a cocktail glass. And I'm assuming that gecko is here as well, sorry, it might be a, might be a lady. All right, no garnish, and that is the melting snow. All right, let's have a go at this. That's nice. I probably would add a, a, a tiny little bit more sugar, but the composition is really good here, uh, and there's classic ingredients, gin, lemon, and then a sweetener like elderflower. Elderflower and gin work very well together. The violet doesn't add much to it. There's a very hint, like very nice faint floral hint in the background, so maybe you could up that a little bit. But the composition's really good, and the 20 ml of elderflower balanced with the 20 ml of lemon, and then, because obviously a, li a liqueur is not quite as sweet as a syrup, so the added bit of, of simple syrup to balance it out even further. I would probably add a tiny little bit more for my taste. But overall, it's, it's a pretty good drink. Overall, I'll give that an eight out of 10. A bit of tweaking, could even be a 10. Next up, we've got a drink from Christopher with a K, Bailey. And this is a really nice, simple vodka drink with a great name. And this is called the Panty Dropper. We're gonna start with 20 ml of grapefruit juice. Now, Christopher with a K didn't specify if it was freshly squeezed or if it was pink or normal grapefruit. Uh, so we've just gone for 20 ml freshly squeezed pink grapefruit. 20 ml of pineapple gum syrup. Bit vague on that as well, so I'm not sure if he's, if it's something he's made himself or if he's bought it. We've just got some Giffard pineapple syrup. 20 ml of that. 15 ml of Chambord. So looking at this now, it's kind of a variation on a French martini. We'll see how it works out. 45 ml of vodka. Is that it? Okay, yeah. Uh, there's no instructions on how to make this either, but I'm, from the ingredients, I'm guessing it's shaken and served up. Thank you. 
And then it says here, a medicine dropper of creme de violette as a garnish on top of the finished cocktails. I'm sure if there was supposed to be maybe a little foam on this or something, but, because that doesn't really work. Anyway, there we go, the panty dropper. Pretty tasty actually, it's really nice, quite sweet. In hindsight, I think I might have made it a bit incorrectly. I don't know if you made it with pineapple juice and sugar. That might have given it a bit more, a bit more texture, but the, te the flavors are really nice. I mean, it's, yeah. The violets in there, the grapefruit juice is a nice, nice touch. Yeah, I'll give that one a, I'll give that one a seven out of 10. But I reckon if you'd given a little bit more stricter instructions, that could have been much higher. But, solid seven. Next up, we've got a really tasty looking bourbon based drink here from Colton. And this is called the Old Royal, or maybe Old Royale. I don't know. This is a variation on an old fashioned stirred drink. So we're gonna start off with our thermos that we always make our stirred drinks in. First ingredient is half an ounce, so in about 15 mil in English money, of high quality maple syrup. Next up, we've got two ounces about 60 mils of bourbon. It doesn't specify what. Sixty. Two dashes of Jerry Thomas's own decanter bitters by the Bitter Truth, which we just so happen to have. And one bar spoon of heavily peated ILA scotch. I use Arbeg 10, says Colton. Uh, we will use, it's a blended scotch, but it's the most peated one we've got, which is Peat Monster by Compass Box. So about five mils, we'll chuck that in. Stir with ice to dilute. And then we strain it into a rocks glass with a large ice Sphere, no garnish required, and we don't have ice spheres, but we've got plenty of ice. So an ice sphere will just um, slow down the dilution and uh, keep the drink cold without watering it down, but we're gonna drink this quickly. So there you go, that is the Old Royale. All right, let's get our laughing gear around this. Yep. That's an old fashioned. I mean, that's delicious. Uh, yeah, it's really, really nice. I mean, it's bourbon, sweetener, some bitters. Uh, the Peter Scotch is lost a little bit. Maybe could go for a little bit more or have a little float, like uh, similar to like you have in a penicillin or something like that. But that is a very tasty beverage. I'll give that. Eight and a half out of 10, nearly nine. Okay, next we have a drink from Cedric C. This is another classic looking gin combination and this is called the London Cocktail in speech marks. <laughs> this is a shaken drink. We're gonna start with 25 mils of fresh lemon juice. 25 mils of black tea syrup, and he specified here one part sugar to one part strong black tea. Now, he didn't say what type of tea, so we've just gone English breakfast. 50 mils of London Dry Gin, that's vodka. London Dry Gin, Portobello Road. And a bar spoon of elderflower liqueur, so Back to the Saint-Germain. Shake, double strain into a coupe. Garnish with a lemon wedge, okay.
and that is the London cocktail. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, you've got gin, lemon, sugar. That's like the holy trinity, really, in my eyes for cocktails. And my, all my favorite cocktails kind of have that gin, sour, sweet mix. So all the ingredients are there. I just don't quite translate in the drink. I don't know, maybe if I've done something wrong. I don't know. I think maybe probably use a different tea. Maybe something a bit more aromatic. Um, the elderflower isn't really coming through and I probably would have changed the garnish. I think all the parts are there, just needs a bit of work. And in this video I've tried not to mess around with the people's ingredients, just try to go with exactly what's on the paper. So I'm sorry if I've got it, interpreted it slightly wrong. But I'm gonna give that six and a half out of 10. Okay guys, last but not least, we have a cocktail from Rob New, and this is a mezcal cocktail called the Mestizo Real, or Mestizo Real, don't know, can't decide. This is a shake and drink, and first off we need 30 mils of lime juice. 30 mils of smoky joven mezcal. So we will use one of our favorite mezcals, it's called Monte Lobos, 30 mils of that. Next up, 30 mils of green chartreuse. 15 mils of Luxardo Maraschino, which we don't have, we use this now, Maresca, which is a Croatian maraschino. It's, I think, a bit nicer than uh, Luxardo. 15 mils. And then 15 mils of, well it says, I've written down sweet sherry. I'm not sure what he was using was a sweet sherry, but it certainly was a Pedro Jimenez grape. So we'll go with that. And shake over ice, strain and serve in a coupe glass. No garnish necessary, okay. Did he say double strain? No, well, well, I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, it's quite a big speck, so that only just fits into our glasses, but there we go. This is the Mezi Mez Mez Mestizo Real. This was a bit of a wild card choice, like it's either gonna be amazing or it's gonna be total doo-doo stew. <laughs> uh, yeah, that doesn't work. I picked it because of like, all the different ingredients. Like, I just wanted to see how how they combine together. Like, the looks the maraschino and the chartreuse and the mezcal. And it's drinkable, but it, it's not good. <laughs> give it. A, I'll give that a four. Oh, sorry, no. I'll give it a five. That's not fair. I'll give it a five. All right, thanks for watching another subscriber video. Thanks to everyone whose drinks were featured today, especially Colton, who I think had the best drink today. Close second, Gecko2305. But like I said, there was so many good ones submitted, so why don't you go through our comments, try a few of them out, and let us know what you thought. As always, thank you for all your support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. We'll hopefully be making a lot more content this year, so keep a lookout for that, and we'll see you again soon. How you doing, guys? Welcome back to the Cup Talk. But, but the cup <laughs> All right, let's get our laughing going. <laughs> oh, Thanks for watching our latest subscriber video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See you next time. No, how do I...